Team forecast weather from where you live. A wind chills in the 30s tomorrow morning. Partly to mostly cloudy temperature around 42 in Greater Lafayette headed for a high of 57, but it's going to be a windy day for tomorrow. Wind sustained still looks like 15 to 20 miles an hour and gusts 30 to 35 miles an hour and 54 to 60 should do it for the highs area wide 59 down towards Vetersburg, about 60 Covington, 58 Pine Village up to Boswell and Fowler, but only 56 at Flora and 54 at uh, Rochester. As a general rule, there will tend to be more cloudiness as you go north and northeastward in our viewing area compared to our southwest counties. Down here, it looks more mostly sunny to partly cloudy and up here just more partly cloudy to occasionally mostly cloudy. On Sunday, everybody kind of turns mostly cloudy. It's a breezy to windy day. It's a cold start around 38, only 56 in the afternoon. Could have a few isolated showers late in the day, and then we'll get a few scattered showers Sunday night and perhaps a few on Monday as the cool weather will continue. In fact, Sunday, for example, still 53 to 59. There is future cast. Again, any spotty showers have pulled away. Here's some of the cloudiness overnight. And again, the lows generally upper 30s to low 40s and tomorrow more clouds up here than down here. But everybody gets in on some clouds tomorrow night, preventing the frost and Sunday. The clouds will tend to keep the temperature down a little bit, only running again at 53 to 59. A couple showers Sunday evening, Sunday night, but more in the way of a, a, at least a few scattered showers overnight and perhaps a couple even into Monday. Now, the best chance of patchy frost would be Tuesday and Wednesday mornings and Tuesday looks to be a decent day, a warmer day, followed by the warm front coming northward. This is the leading edge of the much warmer air trying to come back north. So here we are Wednesday mid to late afternoon. Notice the showers and storms right here. Front keeps working northward and we're going to have a band of showers and storms that will come through Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Some of that rain could be locally heavy as well. Then a little bit of a break Thursday afternoon, still mostly cloudy. It's warm. Temperatures near 70 to the mid 70s, and then we watch storms come in from the west Thursday night and into Friday morning. And it's likely that this area down here may end up with some sort of severe weather risk, like a slight risk. It really looks like a slight risk down here, and then we look a little more marginal. That's the way the parameters look right now. Marginal will be isolated severe Thursday night into Friday morning locally heavy rainfall and then it's kind of wet on Friday to showery falling temperatures and pretty cool next weekend followed by frost and freezing after that. That said, it's 57 on Monday, a little warmer Tuesday after some patchy frost in the morning, 67 on Wednesday and then it's pretty active next week. This is some pretty heavy rain, a little bit of severe weather risk thrown, uh, thrown into the mix as well and the thoughts are that between Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday and Saturday of next weekend, we could get an inch and a half to more than three inches of rainfall and temperatures only in the low 50s next weekend and then lows around 30 to 32 by the start of that next week.